in boat a seventh grader. So he just, whoa, 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 another big one. Let me call you back, champ, okay? Let me call you back. Bye-bye. God almighty. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how far I let my bobbers out. And I went ahead, even though we're still in the daytime, I went ahead and turned them on so they lit up just so you guys can see them. Okay, so I'm only running those bobbers. I'm running four poles. I reduce because I know they're in this area. So I reduce down to, as opposed to running six poles, I'm going to just run four because I'm only going to be out here just for a little bit, guys. We're going to see if we can catch a couple of them. And, and remember, we're not on the meat run today, so we're, not, we're going to catch and release. Oh, we're not going to release. We're going to give them to Hassan. Hassan says he wants some fish, so we're going to give them to him. Let's see if we can have a little bit of luck. <clears throat> okay. Let me show you guys the time. We're 415. We're in November, okay? We're still in November. And listen, if, if you're having problems catching fish this time of the year, you may need to change your style of fishing. Now, if, if you're not having any problems, then you're good. All right? So if you're going out, you're spending three, three or four or five hours, and you only got one crappie in the boat, then you're doing something wrong, okay? And, and one thing I want to tell you guys about crappie fishing, crappie will let you know really quick if they're there or not. You don't have to spend two, three hours in one spot. That's not how they roll, okay? And I got, I got the bobbers between 10 and 12 feet behind the boat. That's it. That net. Matter of fact, let's put this net right here. So we can grab it without a problem. Let me turn you guys around. Let me turn you guys around so you can see this fight. Let me tell you, every now and again, you get hooked up with a, with a crappie that you know is big, okay? You know for a fact, unequivocally, it's pulling the boat. And I'm wondering, because he hadn't jumped, that it's not a bass. I mean, this rascal here has no quit in him whatsoever. This is a big, big fish, whatever it is. This is a big fish. Big fish. Where's my net? My net is over here on this side, and I need it over here on this side. Unbelievable. This is a crappie. This is a crappie. Oh, my goodness, this is a crappie. Ah, the mighty, it's a big crappie. I'm going to see if I can pull you guys down so you can see this big rascal. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, come here, come here big boy. Oh my goodness. Guys, let me tell you something. I gotta take this rascal to the house. Let me turn around, let me show you guys. <laughs> I can't even figure out which way I'm gonna turn around. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guys, the first one of the day. Let me get myself together. Let me show you guys this crappie. <clears throat> let me see if I can get myself together. Guys, I didn't even see the bobber go under. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is a 17, 17 inch crappie. I'm gonna film it for Instagram too. Let me see if I can get myself together so you guys can see me. Okay, here's, here's the pole. Let's put it back here. This is one of the biggest crappies of the year that I've caught. And let me let me tell you this. I caught him off the white knife. I caught him off of the white knife. And I'm trying to get him off, guys. Just be patient with me a little bit. God almighty. Ooh. Listen, this is supposed to be a panfish. And I'm going to see if I can show you guys some scale. I'm going to have to back up so you guys can really get scale of this big rascal here. Let me see if I can back up a little bit. I'm trying to show them to you guys. Just hold on. I'm trying to get myself together. God almighty, it's a big crappie. Look at the size of this crappie. Look at the size of this crappie. Guys, this is a 17. This is a 17-inch crappie. God almighty, this thing is huge. Listen, if you, wait a minute. Let me show you what I caught him off of. And I've had more than a few people tell me, well, Cam, you know, you, you're selling a lot. Yes, I am selling a lot. 
because I want to teach you guys how to catch them. Listen, the reason why I have to show you guys what I'm using is because you can't get them nowhere else but at cams. That's it. That's the only place you can get it here at cams. That's that white knight with a chartreuse tail and that one eighth nasty bin hook. Look at the size of this big rascal. We're going to take her home and we're going <laughs> to... We're going to put it on the wall, too. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at the size of this crappie. This is the biggest crappie of the year for me. Where's my... Let's film this for Instagram. I'm going to try to slow down so I can give you guys all the detail information that you need to show you exactly and to give you exactly what I'm using here. Everything, guys, is, is right here at your fingertips. You don't have to go shopping around guessing. I'm getting ready to show you exactly what I'm using. I'm getting ready to show you how I'm using it. So all you have to do is just go right downstairs in the description, just click whatever you're interested in, put it in your cart, and check out. Okay? But real quick, I have to go off script real quick. I want to say thank you so much to Celeste. You guys will be able to see her picture up there because she's out there doing her thing. I'm her number one fan. Actually, I'm her number two fan. Her number one fan is her husband, Chris. I appreciate you guys showing love and showing support. Um, I want to let you know, Celeste, I see you out there, and I appreciate you showing love and catching those, those, those uh, AKA Specs, Crappie, Crappy, uh, Sacolade, um, Spotted Bass, Calico Bass, whatever you want to call them, they're good eating, okay? So I see you out there doing your thing. And Chris, thank you so much, man, for supporting and showing love, too. Okay, you guys remember when I was turning my shirt inside out, okay? You guys remember when I was going into the big box store and I was buying my, my plastics right out of the big box store, okay? And I was showing you guys how I was using them. We've, we've evolved from that, okay? We've graduated from that. And, and I want to say this to everybody out there uh, within the sound of my voice and that can see me. It's important that you guys know that we're trying to keep up with this demand that we're having with shipping these products. We're trying, okay? We're not some big conglomerate conglomerate corporation that you know with 800 workers at it, 1,000, 1,800, 2,000 workers. We stumbled onto something and it's because of the love and support that you guys have given us that allow us to keep pushing forward, forward and developing these products like this. You can see it's getting cold down here in hashtag Thump City, Georgia. And you know if you've been with me a while, you know I don't, I'm not a real big fan of cold weather. Guys, these are, you can only get this plastic here at Cam's Crappy Hole. This is that white knight. This is what I was catching them off of, guys. This is so simple. That's that stinger shad. You can see that glitter in there. You see that? And that's that nasty bin hook. Nobody has that hook but Cam. Okay? Guys, it is lethal. And you have to be extremely careful. And look how big that hook is. You can see because I'm catching really big crappie. Okay? Now, this is my black onyx. This is the exact same rod and reel that I was using that I, that I caught him off of. Okay? Matter of fact, let me see if I can show you how, how far I have it. Let's see if I can get it up here. Okay, so I have the bobber. Then I have the, the plastic about three and a half feet below that bobber. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, so if you measure about three, three and a half, possibly even four feet, depending how deep you think that the, the uh, crappie are running, they're not going to be in... Listen, they're not going to be in 15, 18 feet of water. At, they're, it, the, what they're doing right now is they're going through the cover of night because they're chasing shad, okay? And that's why you see me fishing at, at dusk because they feel more comfortable chasing bait fish. And whenever the bait fish start running, that's when they start running. And guys, it is a blast. Listen, this is all I'm doing. I'm taking that white knight and I'm tipping it with a minnow. All I do, let me see if I can show, I'm gonna put it up there real close so you can see it. I just barely put that nasty bin hook right there at the point of that minnow's lips. Just like that. Can you guys see that? Let me hang it up straight upside so you can see it, okay? The scent of that minnow, the natural movement of that minnow, plus this plastic as a larger presence in the water. Look at that. Guys, they cannot resist it. I'm telling you, I was, when I first got introduced to one of my buddies that was fishing, because you know, you guys have seen me in the summer, I tip my plastics with minnows as well. So my buddy Bert decided he wanted to try it and he outfished me eight to one. Well, it didn't take long for me to realize I needed to switch over. So that's what we've been running just by adding this little minnow onto that that uh, stinger shed, guys, we were actually killing them. 
Okay, let me put that, that minnow back in, in the water. And listen, I want you guys to notice the drag system on that, on that video when I caught that big rascal. That is my 6'6 Black Onyx 11 ball bearing cams magic stick handmade carbon, fi carbon fiber rod and reel combo. They're strictly made to catch crappie. Spring is going to be here in a little bit. You're going to need a new outfit. Okay, you're going to need new hooks. These hooks I'll be using all the way to the end of April. Okay, because we're catching some really, 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 really nice crappie. So, okay, for me, I'm running the these big bobbers like this. Okay, these are the ones that I'm running. But if you want to run the other ones, uh, which are similar to these, let me see if I can get a couple of them. Here to go. Then you run what you want to run. Okay. It's up to you, all right? And all we do, guys, is use our, our new hologram flake uh, cams. You can only get them here, my plastics. So just go to camscrappyhole.com. you see it right down there, and you can pick up these at any big box store, okay? You can get these anywhere, okay? So what colors am I using? Before we get ready to go back to fishing, we have it all. If you can't decide what color you wanna use, we have everything wrapped up in a nice, water resistant carrying case with all of our four of our new colors plus you get the nasty bin hooks plus you get uh, unpainted you can see everything plus you get a cam sticker you'll see the pictures right up there in the right or left hand corner okay and you can see that hologram flake and you'll be able to see right up in the corner what it does what that hologram does it illuminates when that when that plastic hits the water okay so listen let's get back to fishing and you guys can see me catch it. It doesn't take long for me to show you exactly what I'm doing. But listen, thank you so much for all the love and support out there. Let's get back to fishing so we can see you, so you can watch me pull some more of these big rascals. Mama, there goes that man again with those nasty bin hooks. Water. So let me kind of give it to you guys, you guys again. And when I do the cutaway, I'll give you a little bit more. They're chasing bait fish. So they feel safer at night or under the cover of darkness. Um, my number one rule, you guys have heard me say this on many of my videos, fish where fish are. Don't fish where fish are not, okay? You have to know that body of water. And that's why a lot of times you guys will see me, I'm out here on the water four, five, six hours scouting, okay? And that's why in January, in end of December, January, I'm dropping habitat. I'm dropping high rise condos, I'm dropping flats, uh, brush piles, Christmas trees, I'm doing it all, so I'm still taking advantage of that right now. What's happening, guys? What's going on? What's up, man? Man, look, you know what? I understand that you live on the opposite side of town that I live on, but you picked the wrong time not to want to feel that thump on that pole, dude. You got you got the whole month of November, I'm sorry, December and January to not want to fish. I caught my second biggest fish today, 17 and a half. The first, out? he's out, out. Yeah, he's out right now. They right where we left them at. Minutes. And you know it, it takes wow. it takes ten to set up. <laughs> and then then you know I got to run my noise hole for ten minutes. Besides that, Husan is out and John's out. So I, I reduced the four poles. I'm not even running five or six. I'm just running four. I may come tomorrow. Dude, it's, I, I'm not convincing you. I'm just saying I I, I posted on Instagram. The other, the other one I caught was 17 and three quarters. This was 17 and a half. And I, I, and I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not keeping. So she's going on the wall. So she's in the basket. Because I already know, like you just said, December, January. You know that's it. Yeah, yeah, I do. You know. You probably got the first, first week in December, pending weather. Second week in December, we're finished. You ain't gonna hit no more. You ain't gonna hit no more till, till the end of February. So I just wanted to call you, but I posted, she put, I'm uploading now. She's, she's on Instagram and, and Facebook. What do people say when they reel the fish in, what they think it is? I swear, I swear, the only reason that I thought it was a crab because she didn't jump. Dude, when I tell you that big rascal, I could not bulldog her at all. She was stripping line off of my drag. I said, it's gotta be a bass. And I just let her do her thing. Okay? And, huh? 
How John doing? Is he doing? He, he's just he getting out. He has a guest on his boat, a seventh grader. So he just. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Another big one. Let me call you back, champ. Okay? Let me call you back. Bye, bye. God Almighty! Man, these fish are big. Woo wee! God Almighty, some big fish. Man, where my net? John, these fish out here in the big water, man, are huge. I automatically know I better have my net. Man, these some big fish. Yank! God almighty! Yank! Man, where's that handle? <laughs> come here, big boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come. Get away from that motor. Whoa, man! Look at this! Another one! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Oh man, dude, let me tell y'all something. I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be throwing back. We're not on a meat run today. But guys, we are, let me turn this motor off. Oh my goodness. John, another one, 16 three quarters. Holy cow. Huh? Guess what color, John? Guys, let me let me kind of get myself together. Listen, I don't, I don't let me let me push you guys back a little bit. Let me see if I can get myself together. I got poles in the water, uh, relatively the same spot that I caught the other one. Um, I have two guests out here, some of my neighbors that are fishing. And let me tell you guys something. I'm finished fishing for the day. These crappie are just running me off. Okay, same color. I got four colors, guys. By the, by the turn of spring 2021, I will have about eight colors that nobody else has. Okay? That metal flake or AKA hologram flake is deadly. Okay? I have a kit that comes with all nasty bin hooks. I think you get the chartreuse, you get the hot pink, uh, you get the non painted 1A, and you get the 116 um, non painted. And it comes with all four of my colors with a sticker. Plus, you get a uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna have it right here in the top right or left hand corner. Plus, you get a coupon and all that in a watertight carrying case. Let me show you this rascal. Enough talking. Oh my goodness. Whoa, man. Ooh, John, can you see this big rascal? <laughs> Guys, let me show you what this. Let me tell you, I'm running that one eighth nasty bin hook. And it ain't coming out, buddy, in the top of the lip. You can see it. That's that white knight. I want to show this rascal to you guys. Ooh, she is a big rascal. Listen, this is what, what, what I'm going to do. Uh, some of my friends and my taxidermy friends have told me, you take him, wrap him in a wet towel, put him in a trash bag, okay, if you want to hang this big rascal on the wall. Listen, this is what I do, guys. I, let, me, let me tell you why you shouldn't be skeptical, okay? Because I do this nine days a week, 30 hours a day. This is all I do is catch crappie. And I design my own hooks. I design my own plastics. I design my own poles. I design my own reels. I've been doing this, guys, since I was five years old, okay? And my job is to put emphasis on you guys catching crappie, not you seeing me catch crappie, okay? That's not what I'm interested in. Guys, this is 16 and three quarters. Look how big she is. Okay, we're going to put her on the wall. We're not eating. Okay, this is a black crappie. If this was a white crappie, she would have bars going down the side. Okay, whoo, she's huge. Let's put her in the basket with, with, her, with her sister. Okay, God almighty. I used to think, John, the fish were to be had in the spring. The winter time, the fall fishing, the big girls come out, the hubcap. Dude, she'll barely even fit in that basket. 